Hello everyone, this is AMK Death. I'm here with my first video request from uh, Tom N from Facebook. He requested um, a tutorial on setting up a uh, VLC streaming server. Um, let me just get down to the tutorial itself real quick. Um, basically you're going to first have to get VLC, so um, I'm actually going to do this on Ubuntu Linux. Um, because I had some problems um, getting the streaming to actually work on Windows, but um, the good thing is, um, first off, the instructions are the same for Windows and Linux, um, so you can try it on your Windows computer. And the computer, the client computers, the computers that are receiving the stream don't have to be Linux. Um, so first, I'm going to get VLC. Um, Windows, just go download it in Ubuntu. Um, you want to go to your Ubuntu software center and um, up here in the search bar just type in VLC and click on install. Mine says remove because I already have it installed but you want to click on install. Once it's installed you go to applications, sound and video, VLC media player and then um, this is just for, th this will show up the first time you run it um, just personal preference, read it, whatever. Um, here we are, VLC media player now. Um, basically um, we want to set it up to stream media um, so other computers can view the uh, stream. So we're going to go to media, streaming. Alright, so now you have a couple options. You can use a capture device, um, which is for example if you want to um, set up a um, like a stream of your desktop. Like for example, if you're in a classroom teaching computers and you can stream your desktop. Um, you can set up your webcam to work with this. You can set up webcam and microphone and uh, stream like a live show or something. Um, you can stream stuff off your network. You can stream um, a DVD or a CD that's straight in your computer. And uh, of course, last but not least, you can stream just a video file or an audio file. I'm going to do this for the sake of simplicity. Um, Let's just um, let's find something to stream. Um, let me go to my Windows. Actually, I think I have some stuff in here. Um, videos. Okay. Um, we're just gonna select that. Um, you can add more things to the list. For example, if I want to add like that, and if I want to add like I don't know, a music file. Um, whoops. If I want to add a, sorry, hold on. like, for example, you know, I want after it's done playing that video file, I want it to play some music, um, like, for example, you know, we'll just go in here, select some random song, um, you know, it'll play off the list, and it'll be like, you know, your own little TV station sort of thing. Um, I'm just going to select, I'm just keep one of them on the list for now. You can use a subtitle file if you want. Click on stream. Click on next. Um, display locally means it'll actually show on, on this screen what you're streaming. I like to enable that unless you, your computer can't take it. Like if a bad graphics card, you can disable it. But you want to keep it enabled. Um, click on uh, the drop down menu, select HTTP, click add. Um, you want to keep this um, at 0000. In Windows, it'll be like it'll look like this. You want to switch it to 0000. Keep the port at 8080. Um, enable active transcoding. Uh, activate transcoding. Sorry. Um, and you want to select your profile. If you have the codex for H.264, that's really good quality. That's what you want to stream in. Um, do that. Uh, the only thing is, it'll use up a lot of CPU. I don't have the codex right now, so I'm just going to stream as WMV. WMV also takes up less CPU if you have a slower computer and it's more like versatile, uh, as long as you're not streaming to like uh, Mac. Um, I want to click Next. Um, don't mess with any of the settings. Click on Stream. And now you're streaming. If you selected uh, Display Locally, it'll actually, the screen will pop up and show you what you're streaming, okay? So let's set that aside. Um, now you're going to go to uh, your command prompt or in Ubuntu, I'm going to go to terminal 
Um, in Windows, you're going to type in ipconfig. In Ubuntu, you're going to type in ifconfig. And you're going to find your internet adapter, which is right here. And you're going to copy your IP. Um, in Windows, we'll say IPv4. You want to copy this, um, and then we're going to close that out. Then you're going to go to a different computer now, since just because I can't, like, I don't want to set up my screen recorder on another computer, and I don't have another computer right now. I'm just going to demonstrate on the same computer, but um, it's essentially the same idea. So we're going to pretend that this right here is on a different computer, right? And um, right now we're going on a second, like, client computer, you know, this computer can be Mac, Windows, Linux, doesn't matter, okay? So that one's our server, it's streaming. Now we're going to go to our client computer. All you do to open the stream is you go to media, open network stream, then you select protocol, select the HTTP, and then you type in the address of your other, your, um, your streaming computer, your other computer, which in our case is 192.168.0.199. And the port which we selected was 8080. So you're going to type in colon 8080. And then you select play. And it will open your stream. This is on our second client computer, not on our server computer. And you know, you can stop it. And when you select play, again, it'll pick up the stream from the server, wherever the server is. And that's basically it. You can stream to multiple computers. It's essentially the same idea, just a network stream, HTTP 192.168.0.199, colon 8080. And it'll stream to multiple computers. Um, you can also stream to Windows Media Player. Um, all you have to do is you have to hit Alt, and then some stuff will pop up some options uh, near the top. You click on File, Open URL, um, and type in the same 192, you know, your IP, and then 8080, colon 8080. Um, same idea. This is only if you're going to stream within your own network, um, within your own LAN, local area network. If you're going to be streaming over the internet, um, that's a whole other process. You have to, um, if you have a router, you got to set up, you know, dynamic DNS, and then you get a stream and port forward and all that. I can make a video about that if people want a video about that. But um, this is basically all there is to streaming with a VLC. Um, once again, I found it easier to have the server computer a Linux computer. Um, Ubuntu is free and very easy to get. Um, if you guys request it, I can make a video on how to do that real quick. How to get Linux Ubuntu onto a USB and run it um, on a computer at startup. Um, it's not that hard. And that's basically it. Thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe if you like my videos. Check them out. Um, and also, this is a response to my original request a video. I will make it. I'm still doing that, so just go to that video, follow the instructions, request a video, and I will make it. This is AMK Death, and thank you for watching.